the worst seems to be over people are I mean some companies have started booking profits uh, there's there's still indebtedness and things will need to be watched over the next couple of years but i think some something sometime way back in august 2012 i had said publicly on television that uh, you have to wait till 2014 before things turn around that's right so i guess uh, i've been lucky in making that uh, prediction prediction let's see how things pan out in the next couple of years uh, while asking you this question is because the results of say listed telecom entities are still to reflect the heydays of uh, 2008 2009 you had said we will turn around the corner in 2014 how much before it begins to tell on the books of telcos uh i think it will take another 6 to 8 months uh, meaning I don't like uh, speculating about stock prices and that's, that's right. not what it's all about as far as I'm concerned but I think if these companies continue showing quarter on quarter uh profits then typically stock prices will take care of themselves one of the things that has worried regulators and also policy makers in telecom is the very hyper competitive nature of this market like you began by saying the race to the bottom of the tariff pyramid i'm going to come to that in just a bit but just to talk about the hyper nature of this uh, competitive market have we moved out of that is there sense and sensibility there i am almost certain that that you've got out of that madness uh, we are seeing early days of pricing power returning to telcos they are beginning to exercise that power from a regulatory standpoint uh, when is it that you will make an intervention as far as the headline tariff is concerned yes we cannot expect the rock bottom cutthroat competition as far as tariffs goes uh, but at what stage will you look at intervening say if the tariffs continue to rise as i said i think that i said this again last in 2013 sometime on television that um, as long as you stay below the headline tariff mm-hmm. the authority has no great reason to uh, intervene quite simply because first and foremost tariffs have been largely under forbearance that's right and if the publicly announced headline tariff is 1 rupee mm. then you and i should know that till we are actually paying 1 rupee we don't have a case to scream and shout about how the telecom companies are screwing us that's right so i think basically and the telecom companies themselves are aware of uh, problems regarding elasticity of demand and they are not crazy guys so nobody is going to raise prices or realized prices right. from 44 45 paisa to 70 paisa overnight they're going to do it gradually and as long as they do it gradually it doesn't hurt anybody they say a uh, bitter dose a uh, small bitter dose is far more palatable yeah. uh, just before i move on to spectrum i want to ask you one more question on the telecom landscape uh, there was madness that one had seen about 4 5 6 years back when there were 7 to 8 to 9 operators in every circle uh, is that madness also behind us are the number of operators far more comfortable from your point of view no i think some degree of uh, sense has prevailed in the sector but we are still not there I meaning look the problem here is that uh, in most parts of the world uh, there are anywhere between 2 to 4 operators right. and i don't know why we we in india believe that till we get 15 or 20 operators it's not, it's not viable it's not competitive I meaning that's plain daft that's all and we are paying the price for that daftness in our policy uh i think that a lot more needs to be done to consolidate the industry find us on facebook at facebook.com/etnow and don't forget to click the like button you can also follow us on twitter at @etnow live to stay updated with all our programming hit the subscribe button on our youtube channel by logging on to youtube.com/user/etnow